So yesterday I got a new VCR from the Salvation Army. This is a Hitachi or Hitachi, however you want to call it, VT or um M two six zero. Or if you want, if or if you want to say the full model number, which is the correct way, it's VT M two six zero A. Now let me show you the front. And it, yes, this is actually a forehead, as you can tell, it says DA4, which means dual azimuth, and I bet you know the 4 means forehead. But you know, but it's just a forehead mono machine, but um, that doesn't make a difference, I mean, mono could be pretty good sometimes, I mean, depending on the tape and VCR itself, I mean, mostly depends on the tape. And now let's take a look at the inside. This is all built by Hitachi. No, is I mean a lot of rebadged. Um, some rebadged VCRs have this mechanism, such as um, RCA, RCA, in even Sony sometimes. A very few Sony VCRs have this Hitachi main mechanism, and this is a pretty nicely built machine. Hitachi always made pretty good VCRs back in the back in the day. But every time I came across this VCR, the video quality didn't work. So that's why I didn't review them. But guess what? This one actually, in, but this time the heads do work on this thing, on this one. So I'm, be, I'm very happy about that. And I can get to the video quality at the usual time of the video. Right now we're going to review the innards of this m unit. You can see this is a geared idler. It's not an idler tire. And I heard these idlers can get worn out according to Studio Sound Electronics, but this one isn't worn out. Here's the loading motor assembly. See, you can see a little bit of it here. You can see more of it if you like. Let's see. And here's the mode switch. You don't see a lot of VCRs with a mode switch right next to the loading motor, so it's pretty, um, pretty rare. Yeah, this is a this is a two head video drum, but I think if it was I, I think if it was a four head mono, I think the audio control head has has two heads as well. So maybe maybe that me so maybe in total that's four, and this is considered a four head. I'm not sure if that's what if that's what it means, but if you if I'm if, if I'm right, please comment down below to all VCR experts or you know here's power supply which you can see some fuses in the main transformer here's the circuit board under the circuit board you'll see a bunch of capacitors I might as well go show you the underside right now I'm not going to show you the mechanism just yet because we like to wait the right moment you can see some wires, capacitors, and that's basically all. And and a chip right there. Um, it doesn't have a brand on it. Doesn't have a name on it. So, yes, you can see bomb sided chassis on this VCR. You can take the bomb cover off, which I will show you later in the video. Like. As always, when it comes to older VCRs, this is a early or uh, mid '90s machine. I think this is an early '90s VCR. I'm guessing around maybe '94 or '95 or '93, around there. I don't see a manufacturing date on this. I checked the loading motor; and it doesn't have it on there. And I checked the bottom side; it does not have it. That's not the date, and that's not the date. And you can see some chips here. Here's 
Here is a uh, Mitsubishi chip. Sorry about the shaky camera. Yeah, that's. I think that's Mitsubishi. Yeah, it's a Mitsubishi chip. And um, now, and I there was an audio. No, not audio. Auto head cleaner on there, but I took it out because every time I come across these kinds of head cleaners, they're mostly worn out. So um, I took that off. And it kind of, it actually, I learned that um, it actually makes the heads more dirty than cleaning them. And so I took that off. So now let's insert a tape. Let's get this here. I'll just uh, move it out a little bit. Let the camera focus. And let's go. Eject. Now, as you might have noticed, maybe a few people might have not noticed, but the capstan motor is the responsible for the ejecting and taking the tape in. So let me show you the loading motor. See, it didn't turn when it went in. Pay attention. See, it didn't even turn when it ejected either. Capstan motor is responsible for it. And... So, um... Let's... And you can see some of the mode switch rotating. It's only the tip that you can see rotating. This is a pretty quiet machine, a very quiet machine, and now since we saw, the, oh, also one more thing, I forgot to show you all the other stuff here too, you can see it on here, it drives the uh, a gear right there, it's similar to a day rule mechanism, to a certain day rule mechanism. Yeah, it, it drive this one gear drives that gear like I just showed you. Then there's like another gear on the bottom side attached to the upper gear. And it drives the main cam gear. You cannot really see it, but um you can see some of the teeth showing. It's right there. It's right there. Um, but you can see more on the bottom side, so right now I'm going to show you the bottom side of this. Oh, before I do, I'm going to show you that gear in action for you if I can. Just the, let me just get it at a perfect angle. Okay, good. You can see the main cam gear turning if you can look very closely. Alright, so, um, now I, s I showed you all that, and I greased all the gears, except for the main cam gear, because it's very hard to reach, it's, it's really hard to reach there. Now let's go turn, turn it over to the bottom side of the VCR. Just pull it a little bit. Okay, here's the bottom side of this mechanism. And the belt seems to be okay, but put the tape in for you. I'll show you the capstan. Look, it takes the tape in. That takes that's the capstan mode right there, and it takes the tape in. The belt seems to be in okay condition. There's some there's a signs there are some signs of wear and tear. You can see like some sort of. Like a few, um, just some signs of wear and tear on it, but, um, but it's still good for now. And I also greased the tape guide gears, like, there's a sliding gear there, here too, I greased all that too. Even the ejecting mechanism. There's the head drum motor, 
the bottom side. Now, let me just show you the whole entire bottom side in action. Oh. What the? Okay, that was weird. Tape got eaten. For some reason. I saw every part moving. I don't... I didn't know, I don't get what's going on. What was that? Made no sense. Alright, sorry about that. But it didn't do any damage. So, I'll show you. You can see more of the main cam gear right here. Let me just have this camera focus. I really need a new camera. You can see, you can see more of the main cam gear. Let me show you the ejecting mechanism here. Oh, it turned off. Turn it back on. Oh, now it wants me to um, press play. Speed set instantly loads, but okay, I'll press play. Now we will eject. Oh, it did it again. I don't really get it. Why the hell is it doing that? I cleaned the heads and everything. Hmm, I'll take. I'll investigate it later. Maybe because I put it on in the wrong position. Maybe I'm not sure. Let me just the. Let me just uh put it back on the normal side. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to rewind fast forward. And when I even when I press in either rewind or fast forward while it's in stop mode, it instantly unloads the tape. So that is a very good thing. So you know the heads don't get damaged or you know. Well, you know, it's an early 90s VCR, so it's obviously not going to be pretty f very fast, um... But, it does rewind and fast forward fine, but no problems. Let's rewind. Then I'll eject it. And then, and now I'm going to hook this up to my TV so I can show you the video quality, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I currently hooked it up to my TV. And, um, it doesn't have the on-screen display until the tape plays. So, for a change, I'm going to use a VHSC adapter with a VHSC tape, which I recorded on my own television. I recorded some greatest freakout ever. You know, that freakout kid, Stephen Choir. The World of Warcraft guy throwing a tantrum on his bed, showing the, rem the remote up his ass. Okay, I don't want to get too into detail with that, okay? So, um, I'm going to show you that for the video quality, just to be funny. So, um, let's put it, let's put it, let's put it in. See, now it comes on. Can you turn it up a bit? Oh. I accidentally pressed, um, power, let me... The picture is pretty good. And yes, I did record this on in SLP, so that's why you might see it. <laughs> you might see some lines and all that. I record this in SLP. So yeah, the picture is pretty good. So when I press power, 
tape unloads, which is a smart move for Itachi because um, if the tapes get stayed on, stay wrapped around their heads for a long time, like in some VCRs, like my Panasonic, which I eject instantly before I leave, it could get the tape could get a little moist, and it might be it might um, and the VCR could just eat tape when you eject it. So um, and then you might have a ruined tape. I'm not yeah. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and the next review soon. I will, I'm gonna try to review this. Sony VCR that um Mrs. Manioscope gave to me a, f a few weeks ago. I'm gonna try and review that. I am pretty busy. I have I have a job and all that, and um most likely done when summer school ends. I'm going to um I'm going to have time. So um that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and you can please like. You may also comment. You may also subscribe. We kind of rewind.